Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Emirates awash with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides, a treat for everybody here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. His small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower... He's gone for it! Great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Rodri. And it's played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Gundogan. Zinchenko. Sterling. It's a loose ball. Bernardo Silva, João Cancelo. William tries to get it forward quickly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Gabriel Jesus. Gundogan, and here's Sterling. It's Gabriel Jesus! <laughs> Hector Bellerin. He gets past his man. And it's Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. Sterling. Caballos. Dinks one in. Laporte. Rodri. Arsenal scored early, of course, and the score is 1 0. Jao Cancelo plays it forward. Caballos.
good challenge, he just stood firm. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. That's some clever work on the flank. Yeah, they seem to be encouraging both fullbacks to ease inside, so we'll keep an eye on that to see if it, if it all works out. Partey. Bayerin. Hector Bayerin drives forward with purpose. Gundogan gets it back. Sinchenko drives it forward. Partey. Partey with a long pass. Caballos. Arsenal are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Time and again they are repelled. And the counter is on. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. João Cancelo. Ederson sends that a long way. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's William. Shoots! Oh, denied brilliantly! And there's the end of the first half. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Arsenal head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Arsenal really... Laporte with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. <laughs> Looks to thread it through. Hector Bellerin looking to run onto it. Bernardo Silva. João Cancelo. Hoists it forward. Bernardo Silva. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. A buccaneering run from the defender. Oh, good interception. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. Laporte. Gundogan. Sinchenko. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Aubameyang. William. William spreads it towards the left, gets away from his opponent. Cedric Suarez plays it backwards, and they'll try again. And here's Aubameyang. Aubameyang is fouled. Fraction. It's 
Stokes. So Jim, what are you thinking? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Foden. Gabriel Jesus. Sterling! A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Ball through needs to be good here. Aubameyang was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Deftly done. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. William pings it out wide. Time to deliver. Ceballos hits that long. Now it's William. Looking for a decent ball in. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking. Heads in! He should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Gundogan. Jao Cancelo. Foden. Rodri. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Shapes to shoot. Oh, and that should have been two. He got two ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Now it's Obamia. Jao Cancelo gets his foot in there. And it's Bernardo Silva. Gundogan. It's Gundogan! Zinchenko. A really good feat. It is now or never time. Gabriel Jesus! Cedric Suarez. Arsenal. Need to hold on for a few more moments. Decent progress down the left. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. So he's plotting something before playing it in. Stones goes looking. Rodri. the one time added on will be two minutes now it's Obamia and here's William forward it goes and that's it Arsenal hit it by the only goal result no question the most important thing however it came Final score, 1-0. How do you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, 
but a very professional.